Welcome back. OWI sentencings in Wisconsin can vary widely from case to case. Corrine Zell explains why the punishment can vary depending on the person in the hot seat. The outcome of sentencings might also depend on the county you're in, the judge and the attorneys on the case. A drunk driver hit Judge Laura Lau many years ago. I was stopped at a stoplight and I was the fourth car and then I got hit from behind at about 40 miles an hour. Her car was totaled, but she was okay. The driver was fined, but didn't go to jail. Decades later, Judge Lau now sentences drunk drivers in Waukesha County. What do you say to people who say, just lock them up, like more years, the better? I'd say that the research shows that that doesn't address the problem. Judge Lau heads up OWI treatment court. Offenders can be sent there in addition to jail time if they qualify and if there's space. Does the same sanction work for everybody? It does not. And Truly, with the treatment court, I think the whole belief behind it is just putting people in jail for OWI offenses doesn't address the behavior. That's why she gets creative, assigning daily tasks that include meetings and drug tests. Are you going to do that essay on how to improve your organization? I kind of look at them like I maybe would with one of my kids and not getting their homework done. And I'm like, I think you need to have some type of a, um, a written calendar. So you have something to keep you organized. You need to read it and then whether you are a highlight person or sticky notes. If an offender slips up, she might make them write an autobiography to help determine an unresolved issue or require them to do community service. Really find out, you know, what the person is struggling with and then you try to determine, you know, what what will rehabilitate them. Judge Lau says she works with people who don't qualify for treatment court, like a drunk driver who stood in front of her hours before our interview. I kind of tried to tailor something to for him that was as close to treatment court as I could. It's against the law no matter how you were driving. Sheboygan County District Attorney Joel Ermanski says his office determines sentencing based on guidelines. It breaks down OWIs from the number OWI. It also looks at the blood, breath, or urine alcohol concentration. The higher the concentration, then the higher the exposure the person faces from the guidelines. So is there some wiggle room there if there's something specific you see in somebody's background? Absolutely. There's always wiggle room. Ermanski says it depends how serious the crime is, if the public needs to be protected, and the defendant's character. We can and have utilized probation thinking that it's a longer period of supervision over a person and a, a means of holding someone accountable. So it really depends on the person and their past. It does. A lot of an OWI sentence depends on those factors. Drug and alcohol treatment court is also an option in Sheboygan County. Corrine Zell, today's TMJ4. Drunk driving is a matter we take seriously here at today's TMJ4, and that's why we started Project Drive Sober. We want you to take part in our conversation on the Project Drive Sober Facebook page. There you can find and share your thoughts as well as stories on drunk driving in Wisconsin and what, if anything, should be done about it.